Welcome back to Mars Horizon, folks. Our PR office will be done next month, and then we will start on the visitor center because I want this to be built before we continue our mission research, really, because that will reduce the mission research cost by 20%. So PR office research complete. Let's get that built. Unlocks mission training support. Wow, this is a big one. Um, hmm. Where will it fit? This is the only place it'll fit. 850,000 plus 2% mission reward. Uh, mission, mission support reward. Let's build it. Alright. And then we will start on the visitor center, which will give us plus 10% total rewards for successful request missions. We could also do the diplomacy office. Plus 25% reputation reward from successful joint missions. And it increases the likelihood of joint missions being offered. That is also interesting, but we're going with the Visitor Center next month. Venusian Vacation. A popular travel magazine has written of your agency's recent Venusian impactor mission. With surface temperatures approaching a sweltering 475 degrees Celsius, along with air pressure up to 75 times that of Earth, we'd only recommend this destination for the most hardy of sightseers, I'd say so. 100 support, not bad. We've already made it to the next tier for the next funding review, which is in four months. Um, the PR office is done in five months. This thing is done in nine months. Okay, next month. And the visitor center research is almost done. What? Japan completed animal in space. <laughs> You're a little bit behind there, Japan. Uh, Japan completed f phase one of Mars orbit. Okay. So they're doing animal spa in space and Mars orbit at the same time. That's a bit weird. Okay. Next month. Visitor center research complete. Next mission phase ready for the Mars orbit. Next mission phase ready for the Mars flyby. All right, let's see. I think we'll do the mission limit plus one. Get some more missions going. We will build this. Where is it? Visitor center. Oh, we need to finish the PR office before we can build it. Okay, fair enough. The PR office is done in three months. All right. Let's do the Mars flyby. We'll finish that fourth, so not a great achievement. I don't even remember. Could we have finished it third if it hadn't blown up on the first one? I'm not sure. Five, eight, and three. No. No drift or heat or anything to contend with, so that's kind of nice. Hmm, five, eight, and three. So if we do this, then we can do this twice, giving us four and two. I like that. And we're reasonably reliable, 30% risk of having to assist. All good so far on the mission data update, or the first one at least. The second one didn't go so well, uh, but I think I think we'll accept that. So four and one, we have three turns remaining. Let's. Do this. 
And then we can do this. 434, four. so then we just need data. Alright, orbital realignment is good. Flyover course adjustment is good. And the atmospheric sampling is very good, giving us an extra data. Nice. So, then in reality, uh, you can just do this and this, and that'll get us there, and we can even do a recharge, and that'll give us our 50% bonus award. Nice. So, magnetic field analysis, all good. And mission data update, very good. And that's the mission, guys. Fantastic. We only did it fourth, so that's not great. But we completed the milestone, and we get 792 science for four months and 765 support. Not bad. And we get some experience taking our total Mars landing readiness or Mars colonization readiness to 5%. Not bad. There's still one ahead of us, the Ch Chinese. Damn it. Alright, let's do the Mars orbit. Continue. Looking good. I like it. Oh, so beautiful. I really like the art style in this game, and the planets look awesome. Okay, 8, 8, and 8. No drift or anything to worry about. Our reliability is better than last time. 20% only to have to resist something, so that's good. Let's do a location extrapolation. Let's find out where we are. Um... Then we can do a visual spectrum sampling for another power. And then we can do a data compression. That gives us 5, 2, and 2. I think that's a really strong start. I think that's a really strong start. Ooh, and a critical success right off the bat for an extra data. Not bad. Then a failure, of course. And I think we'll resist it. We have the power, kind of. Alright, so 5, 3, and 2. Very good. Very good. So we can do a gyroscopic stabilization. Then we can do an external sensor alignment. Taking us to 5, 4, and 7. Then we can do an infrared mapping. Yeah, that takes us to 5, 7, and 5. Then next turn, we'll do a gyroscopic stabilization, which will get us there for both the data, or for both the nav and the comms. And then we'll do a visual spectrum sampling, which will take us there for the uh, data. And we can even do a recharge. So I like it. I like it a lot. All right. And the infrared mapping is good as well. Outstanding. So we'll do the gyroscopic stabilization, then we'll do the visual spectrum sampling and recharge our power. We have four power to resist our two actions, so we should be good on that. And we'll get exactly eight of everything and get our 50% bonus reward. Nice. Accept that, and accept that, and that's it! Bonus reward achieved. Mission success. Yay! Second in Mars orbit. The Chinese pipped us to it, unfortunately. But we do get 303 science for 10 months, and 1141 support. Not bad.
Chinese and us are not that friendly. We're good friends with NASA and the Soviets are neutral and so are the Japanese. Let's see. Most recent Mars milestone for NASA is the Mars flyby and they're doing the Mars orbit in 15 months. The Soviets have done Venus Impactor latest and will be doing orbital EVA. The Chinese have done crude moon landing and are going to do Mars orbit. And the Japanese did animal in space and they don't have any upcoming launches. I thought the Chinese beat us to Mars orbit. Yeah. So China completed Mars orbit, but they're doing Mars orbit. Okay. I see. All right. So the PR office is complete in three months. Hmm. Do we have any interesting we do? I think we'll do this Earth Oceans for the money. Because money is always a good thing to have. Let's plan that mission. Give it some extra power. It costs a little bit, but that's okay. And then we have another mission slot available. We're already doing the Mars landing. We don't have any request missions over here. Do we have any milestone missions that we can do? The lunar orbit we finished last, but we did the crude moon landing first, and China just did it in 1972. Actually, a few months ago, we did it in 70. Still behind history, but we were first. No request missions there. We don't have a milestone mission on Earth that we can do. We do have some request missions, so we might do that. Venus, we don't have any request missions. Mercury, we don't have any missions. So I guess it will be Earth. Don't have anything out here. But look at it. It's beautiful, isn't it? Look at Jupiter, man. It's huge. Saturn with its beautiful rings. Uranus. Now, is it pronounced Uranus or is it pronounced Uranus? Because it's pro if it's pronounced Uranus, then it can really lead to some awkward moments. It has to be Uranus, right? And Neptune. Oh, beautiful. And Pluto. Little Pluto. And then there's um asteroid or meteor out here. It looks very shiny. I wonder if we can get a mission out to get something out there. Oh man, I love it. Love this game. Alright. We have another mission, so we can do a request mission. Space welding is interesting because it'll give us the reinforced tank walls. And very nice science. Life support test is not as interesting, nor is the ionospheric measurements. We could do this together with the Japs. Hmm, the Japanese, the Japanese. Don't really care about the Japanese, do I? If I was gonna do diplomatic missions, I want I want to do it with the U.S. With NASA. So I think we'll do the space welding. We'll put an extra crew member on there. And we'll build that. Alright, next month. 
Water discovered on Mars. Your satellite orbiting Mars has detected trace amounts of water on the surface, hinting at the possibility that the planet could once have supported life. Gained 300 support. Nice. All right. Vesta completes next month, and the funding review is next month, and we still can't build this, can we? No. The visitor center, because we need the PR office first which completes in two months. Okay. Funding your review. So we get an extra 53,000 a month. That's not bad. And if we could do as get as much support this year as we did last year, then we'll actually get up to the next tier, which is 525,000. So an extra 52,000, that would be kind of nice, but it's nice that we got 53,000 this month already. That is very nice. And mission control expansion research complete, very nice. And our GOES is complete. Mars lander payload complete, the Vesta. Nice. Let's design a vehicle for that. We can reuse this one. And we can switch the upper stage to the Gina, which is both more reliable, cheaper, whoa, and takes a month less to build. So why wouldn't we do that? 85% launch reliability, 75% payload reliability. Not bad. Now, minus one month build time would be kind of nice, but minus 10% vehicle build cost is also nice. But I think we'll go with the faster build time. It costs us 100,000, but that's okay. We're doing a 1.7 million uh, request mission. So we'll select that upgrade and confirm, get it done in four months. Uh, let's rename it to, uh, Mars, uh, let's see, Mars, uh, we'll just call, call it Mars Lander, Mars Lander, confirm. Confirm. Build vehicle. All right. Uh, the goes is complete next month together with the PR office. We can build the mission control expansion, which I really want to do. If I rotate that, there's no bonuses there. There's no bonus there. There's no bonus there. There's no bonus anywhere. There's a negative. Don't want that. There's a bonus up here. Plus 2% support reward for missions. And it fits perfectly. It is quite expensive because we have to tear down some... ...stuff, but we'll do it. We'll do it. Okay, research. Hmm. Let's do the six supplementary SRPs. Yeah, next month, PR office is complete. A PR office is essential in improving the public awareness of our missions and to gain greater support for our agency. Unlocks mission training support. All right. Six SRBs, research complete. Six solid fuel rocket boosters designed to be attached to a launch vehicle to provide additional thrust. All right. 
Earth's oceans payload complete. Let's design our vehicle. We don't need to use one of those, I think. We can do the Ayane. Yeah. Now. Wow, the launch reliability is horrible. Minus 50% build time for level zero vehicle parts. So 187,000 this costs now. But it says it costs 234,000 there. Okay. And the Atlas, I guess. This is cheaper, but this is more reliable. See, if we put boosters on, then it's basically the same price. And this is more reliable. So we'll do the Atlas and the Ariane 1. We will do the composite, composite casing for reducing the build cost. And confirm. Four months. Build that puppy. Build that puppy. All right. Uh, let's do the Titan three. Could also do the centaur. It's horribly unreliable though. Yeah, we'll do the Titan 3. 1600, so that'll be done next month. We can now build our visitor center. No rewards there. There's a bonus. Plus 2% support reward. No bonus there. Negative there. Nothing there. Let's build it in here. It fits perfectly in there. Alrighty. That works for me. Okay, the Gemini is complete next month. Then the Mars Lander is complete in three months. And Tamara is complete in four months. Alright, next month. Titan 3 research is done. Minus 10% launch reliability. That kind of blows when you were putting people on it. Uh, we use design, we'll use that, and we'll change it up to be that at Gina because it's cheaper and more reliable. Titan 2 is cheaper and it's the same reliability. Let's do the Titan 2 then. Yeah, definitely. And. We want to make it even cheaper, or do we want to reduce the build time? I think I want to reduce the build time. Confirm. Build it. And then we need to research something, and I think it's time to research the space station. Space station. Yeah, space station it is. It'll take us quite a while. Our uh, robotics research lab will be done before we're done researching it. So we'll get that reduction. Nice. China offer research. China has approached your agency to offer their space station research in return for a suitable donation to their space program. Accept 
the offer would unlock the research space station. It'll cost us 1.5 million. Have they already researched the space station? I'm gonna have to accept this if I want to win the space station race. I guess. Accept. Unlock research. Gain 20 representation with China. Alright. Launch preparations for the Mars lander. Mission training bonus reduced by 50% per month. Okay. But plus 10% payload, payload reliability. I like that. So we'll do science. And then we'll select the launch date. Which will be February. Select it. Confirm. Alright. Nine months. No one else uh, even has the research. Now diplomacy. Where are we with China? I really want them to be down there because that gives us bonuses. We do get plus two funds. Plus two percent funds right now. So that's... But down there we'll get plus five percent funds I think. All right, well, uh, the space station has been researched, so let's research the Skylab instead. Mm, that'll cost 8,000. Now, I want to see... Space station. China has the research done, but they don't have the mission planned yet. That's important. All right, next month. Robotics Research Lab is complete. Minus 20% cost, research cost on missions research tree. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. Minus 50% launch reliability penalty for suboptimal launch windows. Increased frequency of suboptimal launch windows. Okay. And we'll do definitely the launch reliability. And I think we'll launch in September. Alright, so... Light in the planets is complete in one month. The mission control expansion is complete in one month, which means that we can do an extra mission. The Skylab is only 6,400 now instead of 8,000 as it was before, so that's nice. Next month, mission control expansion is complete. Space welding vehicle complete. Minus 10% launch reliability. Oof. Mission training bonus increased. Launch reliability is only 64%. Uh, do we have a test pilot? We do. They give plus 5% launch reliability. I'm going to hire one. We want our test pilot in there. Then we want uh, Jadius in there. And I think an electrician. Confirm. And we'll do launch reliability training. And we'll set a launch date of October to get our launch reliability up some. Confirm. Alright. So we have Earth's Oceans in two months, Space Welding in three months, Mars Lander launching in seven months, we have the funding review in six months, and our visitor center is complete next month. Uh, and we do have a mission slot. So, what do we have for a quest mission here? This is a diplomatic mission with the US. Which I think I'll do. I want to get on the good side of the US, I think. So... We'll select this uh, payload, 
but 46,000. Cheap, nice and cheap. Next month. Hmm. Your astronaut Absalom Mendes has inadvertently leaked details about the technology used in your Pioneer payload. The information could benefit other agencies, which has led to some in the media demanding that ast the astronaut is, uh, astronaut is dismissed. Excuse me. Your advice is just to find maybe a more moderate response, but I've also proposed a radical alternative. Release full specifications of the payload. The latter may grant other agencies more science, but will also improve your reputation with them. I'm going to find the astronaut. Another agency has gained silence. I hope it's not China. A visitor center is an ideal place to convey to the public how crucial space exploration is and how exciting. Plus 10% total rewards for successful request missions. Okay. Not bad. I hope that includes the ones that we already have going. Right. Pioneer is complete in a month. And we're launching Earth's oceans in a month as well. Not bad. Face on Mars. A recent image taken during your Mars orbit mission has captured the public's imagination due to its uncanny resemblance to a human face. Your scientists have explained that it's simply an optical illusion due to shadows falling on a Martian hill. Yet more eccentric sections of the media have claimed it to be clear evidence of an ancient civilization. Your researchers are keen to dismiss such stories, yet your PR team have noted the potential for increasing support for space exploration. Okay. It's actually a pretty cool image that they're talking about. I think if I can find that image online, I will put it in now just so you can see the actual image that they're talking about, the real world image, because it's actually quite cool. Uh, in case you haven't seen it already. If I can't find it, I won't put it up, but I hope I can find it and put it up. So I think we're, we're going to encourage this speculation. We're going to encourage this speculation. Gain 200,000. It all fits. Your agency has made the most of the speculation using the image in a fundraising campaign promoting missions to Mars. A popular magazine which gave prominent coverage to previous UFO conspiracies have plastered the face on its front page declaring it, it all fits. Gain 200,000. Nice. Lunar radiation payload is complete. Plus 100% upper stage upgrade points. Minus 100% booster upgrade points. Okay. And we're doing Earth's Oceans, our lucrative mission. 91% launch reliability. I'm feeling pretty good about that. Good conditions. Plus 5. Only 1% chance of critical failure. And 3 of negative event. Let's go. Go, little buddy. All right. We have cleared the tower. And there we go. Go, go, go. Going up, going up. Not blowing up. Fantastic. Fantastic. And we actually get a positive event. Flawless ascent. Plus 10% payload reliability for duration of the mission. Nice. Those are already maxed out. And... Achieve Earth Orbit. Collect... 5, 10, and 5. And we have Drift to contend with. Okay. Now, the only way to pull Drift over to the left is this one. And pull it 3 over. Oh, yeah. Hmm. All right. Well, how about we do this and this? And this and pull it over. It's not until the last turn that the drift ma matters. So it's fine. That'll give us six comms and one nav. I think I like that. 
All right. So visual spectrum sampling, all good. Ground control connection is stable, and our data transmission went through without a hitch. Very nice. All right, so we can do some external sensor alignment. That'll push it back over to. Then we can do another data transmission and do this again. That gives us four, five, and four with two turns remaining after this. I think I like that. Okay. Data transmission is all good. And the external sensor alignment. Ooh, we're going to have to resist that. Uh, yeah, resist that. All right. So... I think we need to do... This. And this. And then a recharge. Then next turn we can do a visual spectrum sampling and a signal return test and that'll get us there and it'll also put our drift back into place where we want it. So that's all good. And the ping location is good. Then we can do that and that and recharge. That gives us our bonus reward. It puts our drift within the parameters, so all good. Let's see, visual spectrum sampling is good, and the signal return test is good as well. Wonderful. That gives us our bonus, and that gives us a lot of money. 2.8 million. Nice. And a little bit of experience. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. A little bit. Okay. So our space welding is launching in a month. Then we have funding review in four months and our Mars lander is launching in five months. We have an active mission slot and we actually need to build a vehicle here. Uh, this is a tiny little thing. So we can go with... Let's go with Abel. And... Atlas, I guess. Wow, I wish I had Algol. Not that reliable, but it's really cheap. We need to research that. Well, this is much cheaper than the Atlas, and it's the same reliability, so... Uh, we will upgrade it with... this so because the us is paying more than half of it so it's only cost us costing us 122,000 um no no we'll just do it ourselves colossus is not a very fitting name for this tiny thing but That's what it's going to be called. 122,000, four months, all good. Now we do have a mission over here. Atmospheric sensors, experimental payload. That is a lot of science. Skylab, it'll be a while until that's done. Uh, we do have some request missions here. Traffic tracking. Wow! That's a lot of money. Auxiliary propulsion system. Vehicle upgrade. Uh, the APS provides additional roll control for improved maneuverability, reducing the chance of critical launch failure. Half the chance of critical event during launch mission, mission launch. We're going to do this. It's a lot of money and it's a nice upgrade. 
Unfortunately, it's gonna have to be standard because the payload reliability we don't want to reduce. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's gonna be standard. Build that. And next month. Soviet Union satellite request. Soviet Union has requested that you redirect your observation satellite used in the Earth Oceans mission to track a severe tropical cyclone that could prove dangerous to several countries. If you agree, your advisors believe your agency will gain re reputation with the Soviet Union. However, your, mis your mission team estimates the science output of the mission will be reduced by one month. Hmm. I'm going to reject their request. I want my science. Last 25 reputation with the Soviet Union. Don't care. All right, space welding. We are ready to launch, but we're going to have to launch it in the next one, guys, because we are out of time. We are out of time. We have four missions planned. We do need more science desperately. But we will get that. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.